Today, friends, we are going to use Tinkercad SimLab to learn about levers and linkages. So let's get cracking. Friends, this is what I call the HLMT23 tag. If you add this to any project, I search it every day. And of course, when I get here, I will give you a reaction. I love seeing the new designs that are shared by users every day. Of course, it's also super fun if you come out here and give reactions as well. Like I said though, today we are going to check out linkages and levers. This was created by ZDP189. I'm going to take back my reaction quick because I want to highlight whenever it's set to copy and tinker, make sure you always give a reaction before you copy and tinker. Now we can click this button and we'll have our very own copy that we can work with. Let's zoom out quickly and take a look at it. There are five different types of levers and ZDP has added all sorts of notes in here to help us. So this is a SimLab simulation. We will click up here to use it. I just want to quickly make sure I highlight how you can use the notes as you experiment with this project. Let's move to this one right here. If we click on it, it's called Mechanism A. If we check right here, there is an arrow. This does not show up in SimLab. That's why a hole is used. If you look over here, you can see it. And then if we click right here, it has a tab that makes it easier to move the input with a throwable in SimLab. This right here is a loose pivot. It goes through the card, but not the backing sheet. If we click on this piece, that's the backing sheet and hide it. If we look underneath, you can see the pivot. This, if we bring that back, you can see is above this sheet. It does not go below. If we check this one right here, it's a fixed pivot. It goes through the lever and the backing sheet. I'm going to hide this pin for just a second. And you can see that there is a hole showing how it goes through. The final thing I want to highlight is this is the exciting tracker or tracer that highlights the motion of the output in SimLab. So this is how you work through the project, clicking on each one of these and learning all of it. Let me show you how it works in SimLab. When you click the SimLab button, you'll see all these parts turning orange. This is where their geometry is becoming fixed in the Tinkercad environment. If you start the simulation before those all turn, it'll likely break and you'll have to just hit reset. Right now though, you can see that it did work and now we can try lever one. So if you remember right, we're supposed to hit this with a throwable. I'm going to see if I can get it so it goes the way that I want. And you can see that this doesn't quite react the way I would like it to. I'm going to hit reset. So now I'm going to hit play. I'm already aimed so I can shoot at that lever. And you can see that the lever pushed this way and this moved to the front. So if you were using paper, this would be a more linear reaction. I'm going to show you how to make this a linear reaction right here in SimLab. So first I'm going to hit reset and we are going to use copy and paste to bring this part over here. This locks it in place so that it'll only go forward and back. If we click on this and do control C and then we do control V, we now have two of them and I can cruise it right over on top and lock it in place. Now when we hit play, it'll stay in that plane. And when I click the lever, you can more easily see that a push in this direction results in a movement in this direction. If we spin it around the other way, you can see that the force works the same. Now when we push from this edge, if we can actually hit it. If that ghost is annoying to you, you can just lock to a single throwable. I'm going to lock to the ball. And now when I shoot this one, it's easier to hit. And you can definitely see that that force, when it pushes forward, this one goes down. Or from this direction, when we push down, it goes up. Now, friends, you understand the technique, so you can check these out on your own time. All right, friends, as I wrap up, I just want to highlight the tools that were used. 
These are the awesome axles. They are placed smartly using the holes. You can ungroup these and test them all as you learn about it. Make sure you follow the notes so that you can figure out what you are learning here. These will help you make all sorts of amazing Tinkercad mechanisms using the awesome components included in Tinkercad SimLab. Friends, as I wrap up, I want to say thanks again to ZDP189. Oh my gosh. Epic use of Tinkercad SimLab and a fun way for us all to learn about forces. Finally, friends, I want to say thanks to my supporters on Patreon. Don't forget you can find out more about that awesome community in the links below. And finally, I want to thank you for watching. Friends, don't forget, every time you click like, add a comment, share the video, or hit that subscribe button, you're helping HL Mod Tech get just a little bit bigger, which absolutely makes my day. Of course, friends, have a glorious day and keep tinkering.